Jeff Weiss, and this brief video is designed to give you an orientation into what I'm looking for in the dissection assignment, uh, that is, uh, in week two of the, your introduction of horticulture class. So what we have on this table here is a variety of different plant organs. Uh, we have lima bean seeds, we have an onion stem, we have a garlic bulb, we have carrot and root, uh, carrot and beet roots, uh, we have a variety of flowers here, and we're going to practice a dissection on a flower in a moment. We have an artichoke, which is another flower structure. Uh, we have uh, fruit, which are beans, okra, pepper, apples. Nice catch. Uh, an, a nectarine and a lime. Uh, we also have some uh, leaves. Uh, most of these are from monocots, members of the lily and orchid family, but here we have a leaf that I pulled off of this daisy flower, and that is a dicot leaf. So we're going to talk real briefly about how to dissect, and once we do, you're going to um, do this at home and draw five pictures with labels of five of these classes of plant organs, and then you're going to send them to me uh, as described in the assignment. So what I'd like to do very quickly is to talk about the dissecting tools here. I have a sharp uh, kitchen steak knife, a box cutter knife, a kitchen scissors, and a scalpel. And of course the scalpel is much too small for the job, but this is the perfect dissecting tool. Um, but just to show you how, um, how to do this, I'm going to take a campanula flower, and I'm going to take the scissors and cut through the petals. The petals are closed, so I'm going to cut through them with the scissors just to get this started. And then I'm going to take over with the steak knife. Oh, no, I'm going to use the box cutter knife in this case and make a cut. Now this is called a vertical cut. This is a vertical cut right through the flower and as you can see, if you open this up now, you can see the structures inside the flower. And what I'd like to have you do is on a plain sheet of paper, 8.5 by 11, uh, draw this view of what you see and uh, label uh, the structures that are visible. Many of the structures are in the uh, base of the flower, but you can also see the female parts of the flower. And I think, yep, there's some uh, male parts, the stamens. So using the information in the text, I'd like you to draw uh, a flower, if that's one of the uh, categories you choose. Uh, just to show you another example real quickly here, we're going to do uh, two sections of an apple. Yes, an apple. Uh, so I'm going to eat this apple in a moment, but before I do, I'm going to um, show you how to make a vertical cross section and this exposes one set of uh, uh, anatomical features and then I'm going to put it back together and show you a horizontal cross section and as you can see the view the horizontal view is dramatically different than the vertical view so as you do these dissections you'll want to keep that in mind and perhaps do uh, two views uh, for your selected plant. Uh, points will be awarded based on the uh, uh, number of structures that you're able to identif correctly identify and label. So choose a good example. Here's some bad examples. Uh, a nectarine has a hard seed inside. It doesn't have many features that you'll be able to identify. An apple is terrific. Um, a daisy is not a good example. If I cut through a daisy, you'll see that it has quite a bit of structure inside, but it has literally hundreds of flowers. Each of these uh, uh, structures, inside and outside, are individual uh, ray flowers and disc flowers. So any plant in the daisy family is probably not a good choice because it's a very complicated structure with hundreds of flowers inside. A lily might be your very best bet. Uh, cut that in half and the structures are very, they're all present and they're rich uh, and easy to identify. Um, finally, we have uh, a series of leaves here 
and you can dissect leaves by just cutting through. But in the case of this leaf, this is Tradescantia, you can get this leaf uh, at the CLC greenhouse. You can also tear it. And if you tear it um, the right way, you can actually see the different layers of the leaf. Uh, it's a thick leaf. And if you can tear it, you can uh, see more of the structure inside the leaf. So those are just a few ideas to get you started. Um, your assignment is due on February 2nd, and I uh, look forward to see what you submit. Thank you.